And our last example of hyperbolas is when the center is HK and it opens up and down. When it opens up and down, the Y square comes first, X square comes second. And again, this distance is A, so I get, because we're going up and down, I got to add that to the Y value to get our vertices. This distance from the center up here, that distance is C to get to my foci. So I got to add that to my Y value, the K, in order to get my foci. Yeah. So now let's solve this equation. Oops, that should be a 16. So again, our formulas are equal to 1. So to get this equal to 1, we divide everything by 16. And we get y plus 6 quantity squared over 16 minus x minus 3 squared. If you want, let's think of this as over 1. Just helps to identify what b is. And now we can see a squared is under the y, so a squared is 16. A is there for 4. B squared is 1. The square root is also 1. And C is the square root of A squared plus B squared. So it's the square root of 16 plus 1, which is 17. Now we just plug everything into our formulas here, and we get the center. Keep be careful here, the center goes with the H, K, H goes with X, not Y. So the center is 3, negative 6. The vertices, well the A gets added to the Y component of our center. So we get 3, comma, negative 6, plus and minus A, A is 4. And the foci are 3 comma negative 6 plus and minus C. C in this case is the square root of 17. And there's the answers uh, for this particular problem.